So today I am making a uh, plastic uh, C PVC manifold. Uh, we're going to have various uh, disconnects on here. You can see what these uh, disconnects uh, look like. They're shutoffs, basically. Um, and then uh, I've got one 10-foot, you can't see it all, but one 10-foot CPVC half-inch pipe that I'm making a half-inch um, hot water manifold for my circulation pump that I'm installing. And uh, you'll be able to see um, this uh, when I get it completely done. I'll make a couple different videos, but uh, the first thing I'm doing is I, I, need, I need quite a few of these. Um, I, don't, I don't even know actually measurement. I'll see how big they actually are. Um, looks like I'm making these about... Three, almost, it's three inches exactly, uh, where they will connect in like this. I'll glue all these together. And so this will be like the main coming in. And then I'll have another one here. And uh, actually, this will be a, a T first. Get ahead of myself here. These are uh, half inch T's. This. So this will come in like this. There'll be another piece that'll be between this and this. And then I'll have one that comes up. I might make these, after looking at this, I might make these uh, inch and a half rather than three inches. So after I uh, um, make some here, I'll uh, show you what you got. Okay, you can see I've had, uh, this is three inches and I they're, they're just a little too big, so I've decided to make uh, this uh, half inch. So you can see I'm using this uh, cutter and I'm lightly pushing down on all sides of this until I go all the way around. And once I go around, then I just simply push down and it makes a nice clean cut. So I need probably about uh, 20 of these. All right, so you can see that I've uh, put together some of this manifold already. I'm not gluing anything down. Uh, when I actually get it uh, put together, make sure we have all enough pieces. Uh, I've got my half inch uh, P. CVZ. All right, so we got um, that in there. We're putting in a T. Once the T's in place, we put in another inch and a half piece. Like so, and then we put our shutoff in, like just like so. So our hot water will come in here, and then it will go to say the faucet, shower, uh, etc., etc., etc. There will be seven of these on here, and this is just for. Um, our hot water. I realize that I'm making this for half inch, but uh, the supply that I'm feeding uh, all of these things, it's just not much demand. Uh, they're energy saving um, devices such as, um, uh, you know, shower heads and stuff like that. So anyway, that's what it's going to look like, but uh, just a little bit more. Okay, so I've got the uh, manifold completed here. It's obviously, it's a little bit bigger than what you can see. I'll zoom out here and see if I can. Uh, it's the I bought each one of these for about uh, a little under four dollars. I think it was three something. And um, I bought the Viz Connect these T's. I paid. I want to say for a bag of ten of them, they were about four dollars or something like that, $3 for a bag of 10. And then I bought one 10 foot piece and it looks like I got about five foot uh, of the uh, CPVC uh, pipe left over. So I built this whole thing for not very much money. I'll figure out uh, the exact amount before I conclude this video, but uh, it definitely a whole lot cheaper than buying an already established or uh, prepackaged manifold for several hundred dollars. Well, I just finished uh, calculating up how much that manifold cost me to make. It was uh, $42.60 uh, to make the entire manifold. And I have a 5-foot uh, CPPC pipe left over along with uh, a couple uh, T's and um, some other small uh, pieces that we cut off, too many of them. So, And that's for a 7-output manifold and an in and an out. 
so that way we can uh, hook up a circulation pump uh, through that. So it was very exciting, and uh, thanks for watching.